MLB The Show's coverage of Thursday Night Baseball brings us to Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's Angels Baseball, and it's coming up next. Matt Shoemaker gets the ball for the Angels in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Hey, Matt, the maker of shoes, Max Shoemaker, split fingers his best pitch. Good fastball, not a great one. 91 to 93 miles an hour. Split finger is the key for Max Shoemaker. Has the straight changeup to go along with it. You'll know if he's on early. Lots of swings and misses on the splitter. About set for baseball in Southern California as Dustin Pedroia's into the box to get us going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Oh, uh, yeah, Matty boy. It's time right here, D-Row, to start getting greedy. You win the first two of a three-game set at home. It's time to get greedy and go for the sweep. Yeah, you got to take care of business in front of your home fans without question. That's exactly what this team's doing. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Mark, how did they bounce back and avoid the dreaded sweep? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup today going against a power arm on the other side. You could see a little bit of uh, ambush tactics employed by this offense in this lineup. Swinging the bat early, not wanting to go too deep in the count where he can rack up a ton of strikeouts. Be on the lookout for some early swings out of this lineup. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. Carter in foul ground. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. Right fielder. Here's Mookie Betts. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Played on the backhand. Rwanda Carter gets him to retire the side. Takes just four pitches to retire the Red Sox. Red Sox nothing. Angels coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Drew Pomerantz will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here Danny Drew Pomerantz better known for that big overhand curveball that he has a good fastball not a great fastball 91 to 93 curveball is his best pitch he will mix in an occasional changeup. In now is Andrelton Simmons it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch of the at bat. Missed with a breaking ball. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big one. And that'll get down for a base hit. So it's a good start for the Halos as their leadoff hitter reaches base. Hey, after the leadoff knock right there, you know what they say. You get that leadoff guy on, I don't care how it's done. He usually comes around to score, but let's tip our hat to the pitcher. He set the tone in the top of the first, retiring him in order. And now for the Angels, Ian Kinsler, runner at first to start the inning. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Let's go, Angel! Oh, 
He's going, he's going. Here he's going. Runner goes for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. Simmons stands at second with no outs. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Kinsler has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Give him the green light. Ready with the 0-2. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, here's a look now at the Angels starting lineup. Dero, what's the word on this lineup as they go for the series sweep? Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runner strand. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And standing in, the ever dangerous Mike Trout. the first pitch to him takes a knee high fastball so let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Joe McDonald you know you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit he has a tendency to move his zone around usually set settling in in those middle innings you know all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent at times Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent particularly from a pitcher standpoint counts even to trout one and one Runner at second here with one man out. The one two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Here's Justin Upton now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Zach Kozart. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle at 0-1. In prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz, he's hitless in six tries. Snap one over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Five. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh, 2 now. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. Two out with the man at first. Oh, 
hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. One inning in the books here. It's the Angels one and the Red Sox nothing. Riding in for Boston, J.D. Martinez. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Fastball just a bit up. I got a ball, one strike. strike him out. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he'll come back count with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. The 2 1 is yeah, swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming in and then it just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. On deck, there's Handley Ramirez. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Time for a look at the Angels on defense. And let's take a look at Andrelton Simmons. You can argue this is the best defender in all the sport. Range, first step, quickness, whatever you want to throw out there, this is one of the best in the game. Here's Handley Ramirez. He went deep in the contest last night. First pitch of the at bat. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Angels lead at 1 0 here in inning number two. This is flared out towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Boy, D roll that ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good time. Yeah, 100%. He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. Into the box, Eduardo Nunez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Past battles with Matt Shoemaker. He's two for four. The 1 0. It's a fastball down below the knees. Ramirez stands at first with one out. Two balls and a strike. Shoemaker has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this. In a day and age where we're going to the bullpens more early and more often, you need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth inning, and he's definitely one of those guys. A veteran hitter certainly knows. When he's got wheels on first base, he's probably getting a fastball and he's probably getting it middle away. Might be a great time to get super aggressive. The three and one pitch finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Count. 
Runner at first here, one man out. Try it again, three and two. Swing and a liner. And that is down as that could be two bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest here's one that misses high it's one and one amazing he was able to lay off in this situation your eyes light up when you get something above the belt, especially with a man on third base. Ball in two strikes now. The count is one and two. Second and third here, one man out. Let's get you out here. Another one two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Try again, one, two. This is on the ground over to first. Carter moving to his right, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Good job there to put the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. Rafael Devers the next to bat as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Still without a home run and four RBIs. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a two to one ball game. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the shoot. Yeah, you know, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders, but that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Standing in now, Blake Swihart. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Swihart stands 6 1 and hits from both sides of the plate. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. The 1 0 is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge it. This is line to left. Upton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Boston's out in front, two to one.
at the plate, Chris Young. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Right fielder, Chris Young. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Mm, just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. The one two. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. Nearly a big fly to start the inning, instead of foul ball. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he wasn't gonna hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And we get to watch one of the best right fielders in the game today. He brought home gold last year. We know right fielder profiles as a huge offensive producer. But this guy covers a ton of ground all the way to the foul line with a strong throwing arm. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Chris Carter. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. The 2 1. Two balls and two strikes now. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the three and two pitch. Sinker misses ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3 2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Here's Luis Valbuena now. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Valbuena, a previous member of the Houston Astros, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. One ball, one strike to count. Ready with the one and one. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Carter, the runner at first with one gun in the inning.
The one two. Now a big swing by Valbuena and he connects. This is carrying well. And it's gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number three here in the early going. And the Angels move out to a three to two lead. This guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Ready now for L.A. Martin Maldonado. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. pitch on its way called strike over the outside part of the plate on its way the 0 1 pitch good breaking ball that time in for a strike I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Hit the other way out toward right field. Betts has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Andrelton Simmons. Here's the first pitch to him. Rip down the first base line. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Throw into second. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Into the box now, Ian Kinsler. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Come on, the two two one more time soft liner toward first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over but the Angels get two both on this two run home run we played two it's now three two Angel Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as former AL MVP Dustin Pedroia settles in to get the inning started.
first pitch of the at bat. And that misses for ball one. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Let's go. Cut this guy down. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But an easy play there at first as that becomes the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Xander Bogarts. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in for his second at bat. Mookie Betts. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to Carter. Gets him to retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're down three to two. Ready for another chance? Mike Trout. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Mike Trout. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is taken outside for ball one. The 1 0 home is taken, strike one. All right, Mike. The 1 1. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The one two skied into straightaway right there to look it in his bets and that's out number one and with that we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the ALE. Leadoff man gone for the left fielder Justin Upton. First delivery to him on the way. And that one stayed up a little high. Upton, or simply J up, he was a first round pick back in 2005. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. Count now a ball and a strike. A 1 1 now to Upton. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. The 2 2. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it 2 and 2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. In now, Zach Kozart. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far.
The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner, but foul. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three, but they still lead it three to two. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. As we begin the top of the fourth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Owen won the count. Here comes the 0-1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1 1. And the changeup is way low that time. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. The 2 2. Locks him up for strike three. Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly, this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Here's Hanley Ramirez. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. And a ball and a strike. That's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there. Most of the time a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate and they'll just think well this pitcher is going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Count is one and two now. We're in the fourth three to two is our score. Now look out as this one sends him sprawling it's ball two now. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two seam fastball. Fouled off. The 2 2. A swinging bunt to the mound. And there are two away now. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eduardo Nunez. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail three to two. Into the box now, Chris Young. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Martinez. And that's the first out of the inning. Standing in, Chris Carter. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Here comes the first pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Now Carter with a big swing as he lifts this one high in the air out to deep left field. And gone. An absolute bomb. Solo shot here for Chris Carter. First home run of the campaign for him. He's given the Angels a 4 to 2 lead. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. Here's Luis Valbuena now. And going back to that previous at bat when he hit the two strike breaking ball for a home run, something tells me that this guy, when he gets behind in the count, sits on something off speed or the breaking ball. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it, hit it right on the screws. Fastball That's runs it. in tight here, and it's two and one. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy, wet, mad, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Here's the two one home. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Ready now, Martin Maldonado. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch. And that misses ball one. Hit weakly back to the mound. Pedroia. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two and it gets him out of the inning. Angel strike for one and it comes on this solo home run. We're through four. It's now 4 2 Halo. Next up for the Red Sox, Andrew Benintendi will start off the fifth in this one. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And it's one and one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lays off two and two now. The 
the 2 2. Sent out to straightaway center field. There to look it in is Simmons, one away. Now batting, third baseman, Now batting, Rafael Devers, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Devers stands at six foot even. Bats left, throws right. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Now the 1 0. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Trout. He's got it, and there are two down now. Digging in now, Blake Swihart. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Loves hitting left handed off for right handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right handed pitching. Way out in front. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Swing and a little tapper. Foul ball, strike two. Shoemaker's ready. Here's the 0 2. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Four two, our score here as we play inning number five. Three, three called, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Still down by a count of four to two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Andrelson Simmons. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Now here it comes. A ball of no strikes. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. The 1 0. Oh. It's a fastball looked at for a strike. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left hander and a right hander begin to throw. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Inside and low, 2 and 1. The 2 1 home is taken, ball three. In the on deck circle, Ian Kinsler, he'll hit next. Hit out towards second. Up with the ball is Pedroia. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter, number three, designated hitter. Ian Ready for another shot now. Ian Kinsler. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball oh, off the plate away for ball one. Four runs, five hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Liner towards second. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. No hits to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
Runners off for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Is there, and Kinsler is out trying to steal second base. Well, I'm not sure if he was going on his own or if that came from the dugout, but either way, he didn't give himself much of a chance with the lead he took. A bigger lead, and maybe he's in there safely. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Ben Intendi is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Angels go quietly there as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. First pitch on its way. And that slider is almost in the dirt. One oh home to Pedroia. Ball two. You know sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count two and oh it's time to start getting locked in. The 2 0 on the way. This one's down to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Xander Bogarts. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. This year against right-handed pitching, Bogarts is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Matty, he struggled against right-handed pitching all season long. But he just needs a few knocks today, maybe to get the confidence going. I don't think this is the norm for this ball player. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Grounded to first. Carter fields it cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. How about it? Why field it? Mookie. Here's Mookie Betts. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Sweet. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? And Trout will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail it here four to two. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 32, Matt Vaughn. Digging in once again, Justin Upton. One for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Justin Upton! First pitch of the at bat. Drilled the first. Ramirez scoops it up and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now that is second baseman. Nice. Oh, Digging in to try it again. Zach Kozar. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far.
First delivery to him on the way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Now the 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow, got under it, and it sailed on him a little bit. All right, Angel. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Pozart is retired. Two down now. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Here's Chris Young. And he fouls this one off. here it's a cold strike nothing in two hey this boy ain't messing around right now attacking his own showing a lot of confidence in his stuff he's got two quick outs and now he's got this guy down 0 2 we're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game he's got him lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning angels are gone in order but they still lead this one four to two. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim, the Angels are out on top in this one as we get caught up on our game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's J.D. Martinez. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Line toward right center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, no, Dero. No. It's he's turning up April showers into May Fowlers right now. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. This guy has gotten off to a hot start, but it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not just pull happy or trying to push everything the other way. He's taking what the pitcher's giving. Into the box, Hanley Ramirez. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Sweet. Heading out towards shallow right. Young is there. One down. Now the Red Sox D.H. Eduardo Nunez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up.
first pitch on its way. Way in front of a great slider that time. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Simmons on to Carter at first, but not in time to get them both. How about it? The center fielder. And the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball one and oh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. One oh count. Here it is. A ball and a strike now. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. Four two our score. Now a throw over to first, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. Still down by a count of four to two. Tommy Lane gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Tommy Lane. Digging in and looking for more, Chris Carter. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Lane, 33 years old. He was taken in the 26th round back in the draft of 2007. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Chopped weakly to the left. A barehand play by Bogarts. Got him. Now Third Luis, Luis Valbuena will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Four runs, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. A great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non-competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Looking up is Benintendi, and it's gone as they add still another. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game. And just like that, it's now a 5 2 ball game. Seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, Dero looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Standing in now, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. And she'll take strike one on the inside corner. The 
wind up and the 0 1. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. And that misses two and one. One out, nobody on. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Shot here to left. Second home run early in the year as they open it up to six to two now. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back to back homers, but there is a need for a short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. In now is Andrelton Simmons as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. One and no pitch on the way. Line toward the gap in left center and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid. Stepping in now, Ian Kinsler pulls this one in the air out to left. Martinez has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready once again, Mike Trout. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set and the pitch. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Simmons is off at first with two away. Snap move over to first. Runner back safely. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. That's a ball. Just a touch outside. 1 and 2. You know, there aren't many guys that can just spit on an 0-2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. The 1-2. And this one gets away. Men on third with two down. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Eighth inning coming up. Angels lead it six to two. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. First pitch on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Upton's under it, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter. Raphael Devers the next to bat his line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far 
Here's the first pitch to him. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Faces are empty, one man out. Fastball at 88 that time, a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball, one and two now. In tight with the slider, two and two. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Still even at 2 and 2. Two two one more time. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long a b. You know what? They find themselves still facing a starter. If they would have had some a b's like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout, that's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. Ready for another chance? Like Swihart. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. First pitch of the at-bat. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Swinging a soft liner down the line in right. Foul. Two out, nobody on. Hit back up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. They keep the line moving, and Dustin Pedroia will have a chance. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Now a check swing as he's able to fight this one off. Foul. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh and one here it comes. Popped him up. Maldonado is there. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox. They still trail here at six to two. Tyler Thornburg is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Tyler Thornburg. Riding in once again, Justin Upton. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. One oh count here it is. That's a that missed close. It's ball two. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? 
Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. They did damage. Really. Uh, two two. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. On the move is Betts. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting, Zach Kozart. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. The 1 0 home. Misses. Ball two. Now the 2 0. Outside, 3 and 0 now. He loses him on ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. And now for the Angels, Chris Young, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Thornburg, a native Texan. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Hey, I think if you ask this guy honestly how his season's gone so far, he'd tell you he's not happy with it. It's been kind of an average year for him, but he has time to get hot and make that salary push. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And this one's inside and high. One and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that one stayed too low apparently. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Kozart leads off first with one away. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Here's Chris Carter now. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. A hit and two tries for him so far. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. A runner on first with two away. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Love the execution of that changeup. 
but hats off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take in this situation. Maybe bought himself a fastball. The one two is a fastball that misses. Here now the 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Angels strand one. They lead it 6 to 2. Blake Wood comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Blake Next up for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Xander Bogarts. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Simmons has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. There's a look at the final line for the Angels starter. He was on point from the get go this evening. Striding in for Boston, Mookie Betts. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now here's the pitch and he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees pretty liberal strike zone there it's 0 and 1. One out nobody on. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. Now the 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. home doesn't hit the target it's ball three if I'm managing this hitter right here he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach you know he's got the green light he's one of the best hitters in your lineup three and one to Martinez three balls, one strike. Three one, and this is taken for a ball. He walked him, and the Sox have themselves a two out base runner. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them, and that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. 
now at the plate, Hanley Ramirez. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. for the first strike. Martinez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Chopper foul. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. He brings it in, and the Angels have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series, breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. The Los Angeles Angels took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Matt Shoemaker gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that will put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.